In today's video, I'll be reviewing one of the most rarest roller coasters in America. Hello coaster lovers, so I have a question for y'all. What is your rarest coaster credit? If you have thought of it, leave a comment down below. And for me, there is a random park in the middle of nowhere in southwestern Ohio, and it's only 40 minutes away from Kings Island, and it's known as Stricker's Grove. And the big coaster there is Tornado, and this thing is an underrated attraction, and I mean it. So I said let's hop into this review with the history for this ride. So this coaster was built by the legendary Ralph Stricker, and it was designed by Al Collins. It started construction in November of 1990, but it opened in 1993. So the coaster is over 30 years old, and I did the math. If this happened, Tornado only open for 124 days in total. It's because the park is only open 4 days a year, so I went on the 4th of July and in October, but nothing major really happened to the attraction since opening. So let's go into the presentation for Tornado. So you're on a random road in the middle of nowhere, and you see fields and fields and there's a small theme park. And it's local by the way. The coaster doesn't look that big, but don't be fooled. This coaster has a little kick to it. So you enter the park and walk towards the back of it, and you see the coaster. You also can't see the sign because some foliage is covering it. And before you ride, they let enough people to fill the next train, so it's a first come basis if you want the row you want. And I was lucky enough to get the front row one time, but that's really it for the presentation. But now, let's go into the ride experience. So you round a corner and climb up 55 feet, and dive down the drop. It's actually really fun. Then you rise up into a turnaround. Then you dive back down into two small speed hills. Airtime? Not really. Then you rise up into your second turnaround. Then you dive down into this element. I don't know what it is, but this part right here really caught me off guard. It's this drop that has a kink to it, and it's actually kind of scary. And it even jumps the track. Then you rise up into your third turnaround, and then you go into this triangle hill. It's also pretty surprising, and it rises you up into the brakes. Yeah, I know, it's pretty short. And that concludes your 2080 foot long coaster. Now I'm going to share my opinion on the layout. And as for the layout, it's basic. The airtime pops are great and the laterals are okay. But that's kind of it for the layout. So I'm going to cut this part of the video short. And that will directly lead into my thoughts. And this coaster is one of the most underrated roller coasters I've ridden. And nobody ever talks about this ride. So that's why I'm creating a video on it. And with that scary pop of airtime in the middle of the coaster. And you got a hidden gem. And as an add-on, it has buzz bars. And it was my first coaster to feature them. And it's not too rough as well. It has the vintage shake of a wooden coaster. So if you have extra time in the Cincinnati area on one of these four dates, make sure to check out Stricker's Grove and Tornado. It'll be worth it. So to conclude everything, it comes down to the final score. And for Tornado, I really wish I could give it a higher score, but due to my list, I'm giving it a... 6 out of 10. I really wish I could give it a 7 or 8, but number 25 on my coaster list is Magnum, and I rated that a 6 as well, so it gotta be fair and that's what I came up with. So all in all, underrated attraction. And there aren't really any flaws, just a little short I guess. But I want to hear from you guys, what is the rarest roller coaster you have ridden? And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are entertained with my content, consider subscribing. There will be a brand new video coming out in the next 5 days, so make sure to keep that adrenaline pumping, and thanks for watching.